I've been training kids for a while. There's a lot of things that help a kid get better. Good training, good coaching, but one thing that's often overlooked is support. And not just from mom and pops, from trainers, friends, grandparents. It all plays its part. It takes a village to raise a kid. It's a part of who we are. As kids, when we know we have people that have our backs, people who believe in us, it brings confidence, which is something that the majority of us struggle with. I'm not too far removed from when I used to play. I know what it feels like when someone believes in you and when someone doesn't. It's the difference between breeding losers and champions. I want to rally the whole city around my little bros, because your hoop career goes by quick. Man, it's like one day you're at high school registering your name, and the next year in your senior game. Time. It's always coming and it's always going. But it needs to be valued, cherished, because time that you enjoy wasting will never be looked at as wasted time. This is Darion, a player who I've enjoyed working out. And through all, all the things that he could have done different, I believe he's made good use of his time at St. Ignatius. We always like to give trainers credit, but coaches play a more valuable role. I've been watching Darion's coach for a while. He's good, and I don't see a lot of him in high school. Think about it. We develop the most when we're young, which is when we need the best coaching. But mostly the best coaches are found higher up, where most players never even make it. And the trainer can spend, what, six hours with a kid a week? Coaches are with them six days a week, two hours a day. They impact players like crazy even if they don't notice it. You spot a good coach by what he gets out of his players that he has. Every year the squad comes in and they compete, and I think that it's allowed Darion to grow in his high school career.